Hi guys, welcome back to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and a huge thank you to all of my supporters, to everyone who subscribed to my channel, whether you're existing or a new subscriber. I really appreciate all of you guys. And if you've been watching my channel and just haven't subscribed as yet, but you enjoy my content, please hit that subscription button. And also don't forget to like and leave a comment. Today's video is how I achieved my giant numbered boxes so my son is turning 12 years old on may 2nd and i really wanted to get him the numbered boxes initially i wanted to get the numbered boxes and put the lights in it but then i fell in love with the balloon ones and i know you guys are probably wondering what am i talking about it'll all make so sense sorry it will all make sense very soon so what I did was I looked into it, but they were expensive, well over $200, and they're being sold literally just to be used for a couple of minutes, and like 60 minutes, and you have to return it. So I decided to make my own. So I got Bristol board, and what you see me doing here is I'm just making it the size that I want, the height that I want. Guys, I'm so sorry, I never measure anything. I literally eyeball it all, but I'm most likely gonna make something like this again. So if you want to see a full detailed video with me making it and also with all the measurements I'll be sure to do that in my next project I'm just putting the bottom of the one right now and just taping it all together I recommend getting Bristol board that's completely white unfortunately my choices were limited as to which ones I can get um, because I could not get it from a regular craft store because of the um, restrictions that are there right now they're not selling anything that's non-essential so I had to just make do with what I had access to I'm just putting the top of the one on right now and guys this is so easy like it looks like it's complicated when it gets to a point but it really isn't I used two full lengths of the Bristol board vertically and horizontally I used one and then for the end of the top of the number I just cut one in an angle and what I'm doing now is I'm cutting the parts of the Bristol board that's going to be making the flat part of the one making that turn into a box so you'll see that coming up so those are going to go all around the sides of the number one itself taking it from just the flat one to a 3d number This is what the number one looks like before I put the sides on it and I was very happy with the shape here. I used the hot glue gun to attach everything together. Just a quick tip when you're doing your corners like this don't cut all the way through. Cut partially so you're able to fold it into the shape that you need it to be in. And guys this is what the one and two look like after I put the sides on it I am so happy with it and Shiloh loved it and he really did enjoy his special day I went ahead and covered up the most of the red with white bristle board this is me stuffing the balloons in there I had a lot of problems with the balloons and then finally I figured just do something simple my balloons are the wrong shape so I was kind of limited with what I can do this is a final product. I love it so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.